a decade since I got the 24 point Cape Breton moose and I figured it's about time to get the antlers mounted. They were faded from the sun, so I wanted to stain them. After Googling around, I found people suggested using coffee grounds would work well to stain them, but I tried and it didn't really have any luck despite trying a few times. I had some wood stain kicking around, so I tried that and that's what you see here. I should have used a lighter color, but uh, oh well, it's what I had. My friend Ronnie cut me the plaque on a sawmill. I just sanded it off and put some clear finish on it. I want to do something a little different from the usual antler mount, and what you see is what I came up with. The steel moose and the slate with the pictures on it uh, came from Etsy. I'll put the link to the sellers in the description. I welded the knife to the moose, the, the steel moose, and I welded a little plate to the top of, this, of the knife to screw the antlers to. There are also some studs welded to the back of the steel moose so I can bolt it to the plaque. The uh, slate with the pictures printed on it is just attached with some construction adhesive. Overall, I really like how it turned out. Uh, if I was gonna do it again, I'd use a thicker knife. If you touch the antlers, they move a bit. Uh, it's not gonna break or anything, but uh, if there's ever an earthquake, they'll be swinging. Also, the knife blade is as is from Amazon. It's pretty sharp. I wasn't careful and when I was tightening the rope I wasn't paying attention and pressed against the blade. My hands were cold and I didn't even notice I was cutting myself. Three stitches on my knuckle later I'm as good as new. Here are a few pictures from the trip. There's a hydro dam in the area. Some of the pictures show some of that infrastructure. Uh, thanks for taking a look and uh, please subscribe to see some upcoming videos on log furniture construction. The last picture uh, you'll see is uh, from some project uh, videos I have uh, coming up. Thanks.